Hi, I'm Rick, Cooking and Rick. Today I am in Maine. Uh, it's Bunfork, or Kenny Bunfork. The guy I'm doing this video for at his home is called Ken, so I call it Kenny Bunfork. This is the home of the, the bushes, you know, and, and it's, what I'm doing today is, is we're doing a party. So we have about nine, 10 people coming. So I said, what am I gonna make? So he said, why don't you do some fish? So we're doing lobster. I decided to do uh, shellfish Diablo, all right? So we're doing that. All right, here we go. So first thing I did is I, I got some lobster. I cut the lobster up, and I put the lobster, and I started frying it. As you can see, I'm doing that now. I'm trying to get a jump start. I have done some videos on lobster, and you can, you'll be able to see it. So we'll take it. You see how red it got? You fry it. A uh, little, you know, you know, onion, a little bit of parsley, you know, olive oil, and just fry it up. We have, we, you cut up the lobster. Also, I've done on here, on this side, is the uh, mussels. Now, again, remember mussels, key to mussels. If it don't open, don't eat it, all right? So I got it here, all right? So now we're, we're frying this out, all right? Uh, one of the one of the guests are here and, and he's kind of watching me. I already went through this here, but I didn't like the way the first one came out, so I'm redoing it again. So, <laughs> but that's you know that that's the fun about cooking, all right? Or fun about doing something you really like. I mean, you enjoy it, do it. I mean, what's the big deal? You know? Food is important. It smell is key. If it smells good, it got to be good, right? It has to look good. Uh, this lobster should look red. It should look exciting, all right? Lobster's kind of a bland food, so you need to uh, season it up a bit. So we do have olive oil, and we have a lot of salt, pepper, and all that stuff. If you catch my previous video on uh, what I have done on this, you'll, you'll see what I mean, all right? So I've cut up a bunch of the lobsters, all right? And I'm uh, going to be frying them here like that. I have the, the the owner who owns this beautiful house is not here, won't be here till later, so I gotta make sure that this food is done when he comes. So I'm, I'm a little bit ahead of time, but we'll let it work in here, with, you know, with, with, a, with a gravy, all right? Gravy, Northeast gravy, the rest of the world sauce, okay? Tomato sauce, all right? I also have uh, some soft shell crabs that I'm gonna do something with. I've got them marinated in, in milk and, and I've used buttermilk too. That's kind of a, a, a twist. Uh, but let's see how it works out. The mussels look pretty good. So they've opened. I'll put them all in here and then we'll mix it together. Right now this is looking really well. Alright. That's and the thing about doing videos, uh, if you you're doing it. If you don't like the way it first comes out, you do it again. So, uh, I mean, that's the way. You, that's the way it should work, right? Now, I'm going to do a no-no. Uh, I'm going to add some oil. You try not to add oil to uh, something that's cooking because it, it it cools it down a bit. But uh, I need to do it. So, alrighty. And this is virgin olive oil, you know. So, whatever. You need to, if you're like cooking macaronis or something, and never add cold water to it, you're cooking. Because then you cool it down. Uh, you, you try to add hot water, all right? So, again, these starting to look pretty good. And as I'm doing that, I'm taking other ones and, and, and just putting them in here. So it looks like each, each person should get a a, a, <clears throat> a lobster. I hope anyway. Anyway, all right. So that's going there, and then we'll we'll continue from there. All right. Okay. Now that we we've done uh, pretty much the lobsters, as you can see here, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. All right. The lobsters have all been cooked, right? 
We got a tray full of the lobster. We have a tray full of the mussels. All right. All right. Now, while this is still cooking here, we're going to add to it the octopus. All right. Now I have a some octopus here, which I'm just going to put in. All right. We have octopus, and then we have the galimar. So we could just do it the easy way. Just dump it in, okay? We want this to cook a little bit. And we have the galimar, which we, you could show you. That's already, what we've done with both of them is we put them in a pressure cooker. I did this for uh, 16 minutes, the galimar, and the, um, <coughs> The octopus I did for 20 minutes. Now, octopus, normally they tell you to do it for 40 minutes. But, you know, when you add cork, you know the story. Where you get cork from, all right? So we're going to put this in here, all right? And we're going to cook this together. All righty. So we got that working. And I do have shrimp. Uh, and shrimp is something that you do at the very end. You don't put that shrimp cooks very quickly it You know when a shrimp is done. It looks like a lettuce sea, you know, it It curls up like that. All right. I do have some uh, peppers here Because uh, well, this is Diablo. It's gonna be a little hot. So I'll put a little bit in here. All right. I Got one right now uh, I don't think I'm gonna put two of them in there. I just leave one And we'll just mix this up a bit. We'll see what we're doing here. Eh? All right, so I have it going. So we're going to put in uh, some of the uh, uh, gravy. We're going to put in some of the gravy now, okay? Okay, what we're doing now is we're gonna start on the uh, soft shell crabs. Uh, I mixed them in flour and I had them soaking in buttermilk. And after they soak in buttermilk, we use them with just a sauce and fry them up. It looks like it's coming along pretty good. Well, as you see, as I got most of it uh, done, I kind of uh, let one work as the, uh, as it's set by itself, okay? The mussels, I let go. And I put a little bit of gravy in with it. And this here is, is pretty good. This is the all the other stuff, right? Uh, the, the octopus and the galimar, I got that in here. So that looks right. Put a little bit of shrimp in there too to give it a little bit of more flavor. So I'm gonna let that go. And in the meantime, I, I'm doing these uh, sauce shells. We'll see how this turns out. I have, you know, naturally I have uh, flour. We have flour here. And the buttermilk, we'll see what we can, what we can do with this, all right? What we do with it is we put in the buttermilk, shake it out, and then we have Worcestershire sauce, which we're going to use, right? So we do the Worcestershire sauce, and then we put it into the flour. And just shake it back and forth. And I have the macaronis going. And we'll do some more of these. Yeah. We got it going here now. We we'll see what's going on. All righty. All right, it's done. All right, so what I, what I, everybody's here now. They're ready, uh, get ready to eat. So I made a little bit of uh, tomatoes and, and mozzarella. That really, uh, that went good. So that kind of ties everybody over. So we've done the lobster. It's finished here. Right? That's that's the lobster. So I kind of like made them all separately rather than do everything together to mix it. Uh, I did the, the mussels and the mussels, I have a, a light gravy on it. Uh, okay, can you can see that? And rather than mix everything together, which, you know, kind of like shows it off, I, I didn't do that. 
And what's great about this place here is they have a heating spot. So you can actually keep things all going. I have the water boiling, uh, which is going to be for the linguine. All right. So now I've, I've done this. I have this now. This is the, uh, the galima and the, uh, some shrimp and the octopus. They're in here, right? It's kind of mixed up. It's kind of cool. Looks good, right? And so not a total loss. I have the soft shells. Now these soft shells were done with uh, buttermilk. Hey, buttermilk, some witches' sauce, which I have here, right? and the water's going. So that that should come together. There, everybody's here. So to show you that I'm not BSing you, <laughs> no, to show you that I'm not playing a game. Let me let me just do this and. Uh, Show the camera around and everybody wave, wave. All right, they wave, right? Okay. And the, the guy in the white shirt, <laughs> that's, that's Ken, that's Ken. Hey. Hi, everybody watch him. Very good, okay? Come here, you. Come here, you. Hey, come here. Okay, uh, we got we we want a little tasting test because you know he's uh, whatever, right? Absolutely. He's gonna try it, and we're gonna see. Uh, by the way, this is Ken. Uh, nice to meet you. All. What's his town name after you, Ken? Kenny 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 yeah. Maine. There you go. Okay, he's gonna try some things out. Uh, I think what we want him to try out will be a uh, a muscle. Muscle. All right, we're going to try a muscle. You're going to try a muscle. Pick a muscle. Let's take this one. He takes that one. Is there nothing in it? Yeah, right. Give me one. Cheated. Yeah, it. it opened, though. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a double hitter. Come out good, no? Okay. Wow. <laughs> 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 All right, I got that. Okay. This is good. This. Oh, it's a pick of the that's fantastic. What a great what a great kitchen this is. All right, look at this. Okay. Whoa. What do we got now? What do we want to do here? Um, let, me, let me change this. All right, there you go. There you go. All right, you can see this. Got it? <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, I, do you ever eat, uh, have you ever eaten octopus? Have I? Yeah. All right. So we're going to give you an octopus. I want you to try this one. Okay. Oh, you do it. Here's one. Right. Pick it up. This one? No, this one. This is an octopus. All right. There you go. Come on. Kind of interesting. Cool. Is that chewy right? It's good? Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Tell them who you are. Tell them what you tell them what you what you do. You run you run these the restaurants. No, you don't tell you. You tell you you know coconuts in Dominican Republic. There's the guy. He's he's the man. Alright? Moran's in New York City. Okay. All right. Soft shell. Soft shell. This, this guy is something. I tell you. Buttermilk. <laughs> it's buttermilk. Butter, buttermilk bread. <laughs> it's buttermilk. That's what was that? The key to it. That's it. We got it. Secret got it. sauce. Buttermilk. <laughs> Not secret anymore, right? Okay. Uh, we're gonna do the max. I got. We got it good. Bunch of people here having fun. We're going to enjoy it. Again. You don't sit on that. You see, look. You sit there. Actually, it turned out to be a real fun day to do it. Uh, really great to do it here. Uh, great people. And uh, as they say in Italian, salute to Chandan. Good luck for 100 years. And wow, this is a blast. See, these are the types of things you got to do if, if you want to. I mean, have a party, do it. It's, it's fun. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.
please subscribe.